Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell in the background, we've got a Citroen. No, we've got plenty of very, very cool cars behind us. Rana has just had a delivery of all of his cars. We've got the Panamera GTS in the background. We've got Rana's famous Aventador SV Roadster. But not only that, we've also got his brand new Lamborghini Urus. First UK delivery. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this inside. Yellow stitching. It's got a little screen down here, which not many people realize. And then the bigger screen there. Alcantara steering wheel. God, it's so cool. Look at all of the details. The start stop button under that fighter jet style little lift system. Uh, we've got a massive panoramic sunroof. The seats in the back, absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving, loving the way this car looks. You know what shocked me at first as well? The size of these brake calipers. They're massive. And the rims, I think these are 23 inch rims. The car looks gorgeous, matching the Aventador color and then right next to that we've got his brand new gtc4 luso t which is in a amazing black color i love these rims novitech rosso used to make sort of similar styled rims and i always like them and i feel like ferrari have gone down that road now uh inside classic ferrari interior cream interior on this one so not ideal if you're wearing jeans but yeah plenty of space around back as well beautiful screen the new ferrari steering wheel carbon fiber all over the place as you know this is a twin turbo v8 so it's not the massive v12 engine sounds pretty decent too although this sounds even better a little inside cockpit view of the urus uh, we've got these very cool paddles uh, which they finished which are sort of cut out and then everything is all digital so all of the screens are digital here's your uh, gear selector and all of your driving selectors as well so you've got strada which is road sport corsa and then you've got all of the different off-roading uh, modes which are fantastic same here for suspension steering and then drivetrain very spacious it smells so new in here i'm loving the alcantara on the steering wheel looks great can el pusa still here as well in the background feels more lamborghini than i thought it would obviously this is based on a platform which has been used for many cars before and gets a lot of criticism for that but inside it does feel luxury it does feel solid and it does feel lamborghini i don't know what you guys think of the new uh, ferrari key as well it looks very nice donze's here you like it yeah it's pretty fantastic are you going to drive it yeah now i'm going to try it for my first time ah and then you'll have to tell us what it's like yeah, 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 yeah. the wheels are so cool aren't they it's very tinted as well. I mean, yeah. You literally it's cannot nice. see anything. Right. It's time to hear the Urus for the first time. Oh, it's so loud. It really pops, doesn't it? That is fantastic. Sounds cool, huh? And then let's see with all the oh look at that the lamborghini the dashboard in, uh, oh when you change the different modes yeah sabia. what's sabia sabia is uh, sand sand terra terra it's uh, earth oh the car's going up it's moving up the whole car's lifting Neve, snow yeah then and then the strata. strata yeah so it changes down here sport oh yeah see it's gone orange very cool very cool for a family car well family car i don't know how much you can call this a family car <laughs> yeah and the lights in the front are very very cool the detailing and the lights gorgeous looking car loving the little front in yellow as well the little almost like splitter time to hop into the cars and drive down to monaco back in the gts and here we go there goes the ferrari oh that looks so good the aventador and then we're gonna go behind the aventador and have the ooze following Man, the Aventador is so cool to follow. Look at that. Oh, the Aventador sounds so good in the tunnel. Oh, the downshift. This is, this is a pretty good way to spend a Thursday evening driving in this convoy back down to Monaco. Raining decently hard now. Here comes the Urus. Oh, that sounds cool. First time ever following an Urus. The Urus and the Aventador go so well together. You know what? It looks a lot more sort of special than I thought it would with all of like the air intakes over there. Oh God, it's focusing on the rain. No, and now he's leaving. Damn it. Ciao, how is it? Good, amazing. It's pretty cool, right? Amazing. Yeah, I know. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah the Ferraris, they're, they're always pretty special. And then we got, oh, we got a scooter behind us. That's what we've got. Comment your favorite of these three down below in the comments, will you? And you can also comment the Porsche if you feel like it. We've got the Euros behind, but as per usual, you get separated from uh, from the convoy and straight into traffic in Monaco. Arriving at Casino Square and the cars are getting a fair amount of attention, as you can imagine. When you've got a Ferrari and a Lamborghini all in the same place, it is pretty special. Even my passengers got in out of the car to take photos and left me. Even though this is a lovely car, <laughs> It is nothing compared to those in front and doesn't get anywhere near the same attention. In fact, it basically just doesn't get any attention, which I think for a daily is a good thing. Found my passenger, found him, there he is, in the zone, headphones on, not messing around. I think that's the way to do it. If you're, if you're gonna go full Lambo baller, you need the Urus family car with your SV Roadster in the same color, just in front. Oh, we've got a green AMG GTR. That's actually a little spotting top tip. If there's HHAA on a German plate, it means it's a rental. That is a rental. Very nice one for that fact. And that's Donze's uh, RSX. What else do we have? Spotters, spotters, but behind them, SLR Roadster right there and a dawn that is what i think it is isn't it that's a 599 gt okay we're going to film that when we're out there. i've parked the car but they've told me i can't stay there too long 599 gto how special is that this one is always here in monaco but it looks so good this is has to be one of my all-time favorites look at that it just started up and woke up the whole town it is absolutely stunning parked all the cars up that created quite the mess having the two yellow cars together Everyone kind of came over, rushed over. That was pretty special. As I said, usually this is something I wouldn't necessarily have filmed because it was just so hectic, sort of like a very short video. Um, I have to get in the car. Okay, good to see you. I'll finish this inside. Okay, we're in the car, very hectic. What I was saying was, this isn't something I would necessarily have filmed before, just going to go pick up a car. It wouldn't necessarily have been like a full video, but, I figured I'm trying to just do, even if they're shorter, a few videos here and there um, so that you get more uploads and you can see what I'm up to daily. That's exactly what today was. Just bring the camera along, film what I can, simple camera, and take it from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Not as long. Tell me if you kind of like these spontaneous, like quick videos, and uh, we'll keep going with that. I find it very good fun, actually, and you get to see more of what's going on. We'll be doing more with the Urus and with the Aventador in the next few days as well. Thank you all for watching. As per usual, I'm gonna try not to run anybody down. I'm gonna head home, make myself some lasagna, and call it a day. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Hey. Let's go.